Brisbane has lived up to its star billing with a clear-cut win over Manly at ANZ Stadium. The Broncos won 22-6, while Sea Eagles Jeff Toovey and John Hapawati will appear before the judiciary charged with dissent. A night of great expectation. 39,000 fans and former foes together. But soon after the outset, Jeff Toovey was losing a running battle with referee Bill Harrigan. Now, now he's at the sin bed. Oh, well. Under the weight of possession from Harrigan's 17-6 penalty count, Brisbane crossed for three tries. Inside the 20, Tellus is there. Tellus looks inside. The Pearl is there. Grimoth is there. Oh. He does puts it over the line. The Sea Eagles' night only got worse when Tuvi and John Hapuate were dismissed for dissent just on full time. He sent the captain off as well. If I was captain of Manly, I would have done what Jeff Tuvi did. I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not sure what Jeff said, but what I am saying, he's entitled uh, to approach the referee. The players, they, with this particular referee, can't win. The incident that resulted in the two send-offs. Well, he had copped a couple of cautions uh, throughout the match and John is renowned in the last couple of years for opening his mouth a fraction too much and obviously he's done it again. Then Tuvi's walked by and said something and so <laughs> Harrigan's, uh, he thinks he's back in the police force. Well both, both players had a running battle with Harrigan all night, didn't they? The, the players, they, with this particular referee, can't win. Now, um, I don't want to get into that into that sort of touchy area, which you know you people will report me in saying certain things, and it can be you know construed as being a criticism of the referee. I am not criticising the referee. Government looks to Mal Colston for its Telstra sell-off. Inquest hears of explosive overload in Canberra's fatal blast, and Bill Clinton strikes back at his latest accuser. From National 9 News, this is Nightline with Jim Whaley. And still to come on Nightline, the finance and weather, and in sport, Queensland drops our highest paid rugby star, in AFL, Melbourne's captain stands down, a preview of the second test, and manly rugby league stars front the judiciary. Up the I think he said Tuvi off as well. Now to sport, and in rugby league, judiciary appearances tonight following Manly's troubles with referee Bill Harrigan. Skipper Jeff Toovey was the first man up on a charge of dissent, but he escaped without a suspension. Jeff Toovey and John Hopawate were summoned to the judiciary after several exchanges during Friday night's match in Brisbane. That one down there, he milked that. Toovey sin bin by referee Bill Harrigan early in the first term, then with Hopawate sent from the field late in the second. You're gone. Go. In fact, the chat continued well after the siren. They won't learn, mate, will you? You won't learn. You won't learn. Both faced contrary conduct charges, Hopawate another over offensive language. Tuvi maintained as captain he's entitled to question decisions and was partially vindicated when he was found guilty of the charge but no suspension imposed. Very disappointed that I've you know, I got this blemish on my record after 23 years of playing football. Um, this is the only incident that, um, you know, that, that, that has appeared. John Hopawate was also found guilty of contrary conduct and received a two-match suspension, but was not guilty of offensive language. Later this month, the NRL board will investigate comments Manly coach Bob Fulton allegedly made to Bill Harrigan after the match. If proven, the club faces a $10,000 fine. Mark Barlin for Nightline.